the Joe Rogan experience. Do you know of, um, there's a, a very famous painting that shows what appears to be men in crafts flying through the sky in the background of, uh, of a, an ancient painting. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I actually have a page. Uh, one of the first pages I ever put on my website is like a bunch of these because throughout history, there are these indications of ships, of craft. But like, you know what I'm, the one I'm talking yes. about? It's like, and yes. it's that, that's the shape of it. It's also like a plate turned on its side and then there's a person inside yes. of it. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, and it's flying through in that same yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like look. Yeah, look it's how incredible. it's it's flying. But you know the thing is is that everybody can say or the one above that's pretty cool because that was a hidden thing. I've studied that one where it says uh, discovery 15th century. Above the the her left shoulder there is an object, and if you really zoom in, look at the dude staring up at it. As a painter, my wife is a painter. Everything is intentional. Which that, guy, where's the guy? The guy on the yeah, right the over court, there. It's right. pretty cool. Looking up. So, so I think that's 15th century. It said. So the the problem with this Joe is it, go to the original one, the one that we just looked at, Jamie, the one right before that. Yeah. So you get a big picture. Of that. Yeah. That is so strange. Like yeah, here man. you got Christ being crucified, and then above him UFOs, like. Yeah. And is that supposed to be aliens or is that supposed to be angels? Like, so what is that supposed to be in these things that they have? It's it's real similar to what we're talking about here. That's the argument of Miracle of Fatima, let's say. I mean, again, this is so speculative. We have a, a witness mm -hmm. here, of, you know, pilot. But when you see something like the Miracle of Fatima, if you look at what that. What is the Miracle of Fatima? God, that's that one that was, uh, you know, considered a real miracle by the church and the three kids were getting messages. I'll get this all wrong, but for like months that they're going to be visited and to bring people in bigger and bigger groups gathered to where there was over 100,000 people. What year is this? 1917. 1917. 19 19 19 19 so, you know, dozens of thousands, if not hundreds, but dozens for sure, see an event a mass sighting of something that happened. We're talking people that were religious, people that weren't religious, you know, doctors at the that's time. That's not a real image, is it, no, Jamie? That one was doctored a little bit, so you could see, like, they're all looking at something. But that's not real. Yeah, but that's, that's, the, really but that's the crowd, right? The crowd is real. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, sure so the here's the thing. Real. People come out, something happened that was so intense. Some people thought it was religious, that it was a, a visitation, but other people saw it as technological, like something descended you know, look into it. I'm just saying art pictures, like paintings we're talking about, man, you can interpret them all day. I can't hold on to that. I can hold on to an eyewitness with other eyewitnesses, with radar systems and with video. We're in a different era now. We don't have to paint it, man. We get to see it. It's fascinating, man. It is fascinating, but it's way more fascinating when someone like you talks about it versus some fucking random kook. You know, that's, that's what makes me incredibly interested is the, just your credibility and the fact that this is not, you don't have a history of seeing wacky shit that other people don't see. No, just this once. And, but it's on video and that there's other ones as well. It's, it's really strange. And I've seen people try to explain it away. And what I don't like about when they explain it away or attempt to explain it away is that they're trying really hard. They're not going, who knows what this fucking thing is. They're not looking at it like cleanly. They're looking at it like a quote unquote skeptic. I don't like the idea of being a skeptic. Not that I don't think you should be skeptical of certain things. I certainly think you should be. But there's a lot of people that brand themselves as skeptics. And I think it's a lazy way to look at things. I really do. Because I think you're just looking for the holes in things without looking at it objectively. If you wanted to be a scientist, if you wanted to be someone who is a, a fan of science, then you have to look at it as a thing. Like, look at this information and let's study this without any bias, any preconceived notions. I don't think they're doing that. They're looking at it and they're trying to find a way where they can justify that it's fake. And they're, they're just doing all sorts of mental gymnastics to try to make it fake. That video that you show where that thing slips off to the left and takes off at incredible rates of speed, that alone should freak people the fuck out. Yeah, well, I think because people confuse all the time. Like, we took the video. No, it was another crew that took the video. We, we watched it for five minutes with our eyeballs. And there was four of us. And we all have the same story. We all saw the same stuff. We all came back and looked at each other and scratched our head and said, WTF, you know, I mean, serious? What was that? 